I am Debbie McDonald, certified veterinary technician of 22 years. I work at Evolution Veterinary Specialists as their pharmacy technician and lab technician. So one of the things that we see with dogs, especially of our giant breeds, uh, is called the GDV, or gastric dilatation bobulus, which is where the stomach twists on itself. So signs to watch for that would be a stomach that is bloating. So we would have the client look at the dog and measure it if they can. And if they were reluctant to come in, we'd have a measure it and then measure it again in a little while. And if it's gotten bigger, then we stress that they come in right away. That's one of the common reasons we see our giant breeds. One of the common reasons we see dogs here mostly is cardiac, because we do have a cardiac doctor. So a lot of our patients are older patients that already have cardiac issues and they start to breathe heavy and the owners get very concerned. They start coughing, so they come in through ER. And coughing could indicate many different things. If it's a puppy, it can indicate kennel cough. If it's an older dog, it could indicate upper respiratory or heart failure. So cats, one of the things that we see cats here for are lethargy and in inappetence. Male cats, tending to go in and out of the litter box frequently, which would indicate that he might possibly be blocked, which means he cannot urinate. Frequent trips to the litter box and not producing anything or straining. So as they get older, cats tend to go into kidney failure or some types of kidney issues. And if they do have kidney issues, they don't, their appetite is, is diminished. Anything that is out of the ordinary with an exotic, we tell them to bring in. Because a lot of times exotics don't show things right away, especially like your reptiles, because they're they're cold-blooded, so it takes longer for them to manifest anything. So we tend to tell them at any, any time they see a sign that does not need, seem normal to that pet to come in. Birds would be open mouth breathing or on the floor of their cage. A snake may be sitting there with its mouth open or have bubbles coming out of its nose. A bearded dragon may be not standing up on his legs like they normally do. He may be flat on the ground or laying in a corner that he doesn't normally lay in. Dietary indiscretion is a big thing too, especially if clients say, oh, my dog doesn't like this food anymore, so I'm gonna try another food. And they try the food right away without gradually doing it. We tell you to do it in a week. So if they do that, then the dog most of the time blows with vomiting and diarrhea. So we may see him here for that. So there's a lot of questions that, that we ask. Could your dog have gotten into anything? You know, and if they answer a yes to any of these, I'm not gonna tell them to stay at home. I'm gonna tell them to come right in. It could be a foreign body. They could have ingested drugs. That That's one thing that we do see a lot of, um, THC ingestion. And clients are very reluctant to tell us that that's what they ingested. We're not here to judge them. We're just here to help the pet. And the more knowledge that we can get from the client, the better we are to help their pet. So as, as a triage, what my first questions are going to be first off, okay, could we have gotten into something? Plants, do you have any poisonous plants in the house? If it's a cat, those are going to be questions for a cat. Um, have you changed your cleaning products? Because this will be an itchy dog, a dog's itchy. Have you changed your cleaning products? Have you washed their bedding in something different? Um, have you cleaned the rug in something different? Have you treated your lawn with anything? Have you changed your cleaning products? Have you changed your food? These are all questions that I'll ask to try and get to the root of the, of the problem. If it's something like um, a human drug that they ingested, we tell them to call the ASPCA because the ASPCA is the drug line that will tell them what needs to happen. They'll give the client a plan, the plan will then come to, with us, and then we'll be able to, to do it. If you notice any of these key signs or have any concerns about your pet's well-being, please do not hesitate to pick up the phone and call us. We are here 24-7.